Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Jacob Restituto and today we're making a video that I wish that I had when I first started out my music career. When I first started releasing songs many years ago, I was terrified about the release process because I thought that if I did something wrong, if I put the wrong information, that it was just my whole career would be screwed up forever. Obviously that is not the case, but I very much relate to that fear. So I really wanted to make this video really step by step by step nitty gritty explaining how to release your songs, a video that I really wish that I had when I first, or could have watched when I first started releasing music. Now I have used plenty of different platforms before, I've used a, all, pretty much all the major ones, and if I haven't used the uh, a certain platform to release my music, I know people that have, and I've heard the pros and cons of both. I currently use DistroKid to release my music, and that being said, I reached out to them, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be making this video anyway, would you be interested in partnering with me? So they agreed, and they are a partner on this video, so thank you, DistroKid very much. So this is what you see, the three different options when you sign up for DistroKid. The Musician, the Musician Plus, and the Label. I personally have the Musician Plus. There's a lot more um, features that come along with it. Obviously, you can see you get the Spotify Verify checkmark on both of them, or on all of them actually. But I like, the reason I just did this one actually was because of the, the stats, sync lyrics for Instagram, and there's a whole bunch of different things. If you want to do the label name, customize release date. So what you will be seeing in, in the release process of this is what you get from the Musician Plus. Look, I've used platforms, actually let me just say this really quick. I've used platforms before where it was $10 a single to release, $50 for an EP or album per year. This Musician Plus is, $35 for the year for unlimited releases. I have over a hundred songs released. So if I wanted to use all the, some of these other platforms, it'd be over a thousand dollars a year just to release the music, just to get out the door. So forget that. That's one of the major reasons I like DistroKid is their, their affordability. So when you, when you submit, create your account, you'll go to the upload page. You'll see upload right here. Obviously it brought us right to this page. So you would not see priority account. That is because I've been working with DistroKid for a while now and they marked me as a priority account. Doesn't matter, don't worry about that. What you're gonna look at right here is how do you wanna release, what do you wanna release your music on? What platforms do you wanna release on? Snapchat is new, which is really cool, but you can only do it if you own 100% of the publishing. If it's your own song, then you likely very much will own 100%. Now the beautiful part about this walkthrough is that you're gonna actually see a collaboration. So if you ever have a featured artist, you'll know what to do. Let's get into this. So this is a single, you can release up to 35 tracks, which is really cool, I don't know who in the world is releasing 35 tracks, but you could if you wanted to. Previously released, yes or no. I've done this before only when I was importing my tracks from a different platform. So I, I was working with a different platform. I wanted to go to DistroKid because they were the first people to get your music on TikTok. Back, this was, I don't know, at this point, this had been a couple of years back. I think this was in 2020. And I was like, I really want to get my music on TikTok. And they were able to. And so I imported all of my songs through them. Uh, so this is the only time you'd probably need it if, uh, if you were re-releasing a song. Um, but this is a new song, so we're not. My name is Jacob Restituto. See, like, even this little thing, feeling zany, uh, you know, if you want to do a random name generator, all little fun tr things about them. So let's keep going. We're going to release this for, say, let's just pick a day, a couple weeks, and a couple days in advance. I am trying to do a song a week right now, so I, I don't leave a ton of time for me to get my music out there, but it ends up being pretty quickly. Now, the benefit is if you want to do something farther in advance, you can set things up like iTunes pre-order and everything like that, which is really cool. I can't tell you the last time, personally, I've done that because because I usually leave myself no time. But we're gonna just pick this date right here. You could, this is really cool. You can check if you want people to be released in their time zone at midnight or in your time, which my time is New York time. I always do their time zone, I think it's cool. But if you wanted to do that, you could do their time zone uh, or my time zone, like your own time zone. <laughs> Record label, I'm not signed to a label, independent baby. Uh, so I just put my name Jacob Restituto. You can put it whatever you want. That comes with the Musician Plus platform. Album cover. So let, what you can just drag it in. I have mine right here in my currently working on folder. It's the song we're working on. We're releasing. It's called Possession. Just drag it right into there. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. English language genre. We're gonna do. I'd say I don't know. This song is more like pop rock. So we're gonna do rock, pop. Beautiful. Easy as can be. The song is called Possession. Make sure you spell it right. <laughs> so here's a very important. Uh, does this track feature an artist? Yes or no? So if it did not, you just continue on in this process. This song particularly does. Featured artist name is Jillian Rose. So now that'll show you what it looks like, the song preview. Is this a, a different version of the song? So I just recently released like a, um, a what's it called? A remix version. 
Uh, so we did, it was actually called the Your Remix. So if you were releasing a remix, that's what you would do right there. This is not, this is a normal version of the song, so we don't have to worry about that. You would then go and click the audio file. So go in, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the wave of the, the, the file, bring that right in. I personally have not learned how to mix in Dolby Atmos yet. You could if you wanted to, uh, it's an extra fee, but I, I personally have not done that yet, so I can't really honestly speak about that. If you already released the song, you would add like, so for example, if you went, like if this is re-released, like we mentioned up here, you would add the ISRC code right here. Uh, but this is a new song and likely a new song for you as well. So you probably don't have to worry about that. Are you the songwriter? Uh, yes or no. You, if it's a cover song, what's really cool is they, they walk you through the process right here of if, it, if it's a cover song, which is actually really, really cool. But we're doing an original song. So obviously you'd read all this if it was a cover song. Original Jacob Restituto. Now this does feature another songwriter. So this is Jillian Rose. There you go. If there was a producer or something like that, it would just like say they were helping with the production. You could do say my my wife pretend produced that right. Jamie Restituto, but she did not. <laughs> explicit e lyrics, yes or no. Mine does not have an explicit e lyrics. You obviously click that if it does. If it's a radio edit, yes or no. Mine is not. If this is just instrumental, yes or no. This is very very important. For TikTok, Apple Music, iTunes, where do you want the the, the streaming platform to, to put your music? So where do you want the preview to start? Very important for TikTok. You can choose where you want it. So let's go back to the song really quick. Let's let, take a listen. When I was lost in the Obby, that's the, obviously that's the intro. I won't say the chorus, so let's find out where the try chorus to apart, hold it deep in my A little farther back. Okay, it's right there, so let's go. Time has come, walk out the so 136 is where it's going to start. 136. So now, whenever somebody brings it up on iTunes or on TikTok or whatever the case is, it will start at this point. Choose your pricing, 69 cents, 99 cents, 129. Let's make that dough. <laughs> so this is really cool. If your artist is in Spotify already and Apple Music, you put their artist ID uh, this works really well. If you have trouble with it, like I have in the past, I've had trouble where it, it, Spotify linked it to the wrong artist. DistroKid's support team is phenomenal. They've actually fixed it for me really, really quickly. So uh, you can either let the streaming services decide or if you have their information, you can put it in. A couple different options here. Uh, YouTube content ID, store maximizer if you want to uh, add new so stores automatically as they add them. This is phenomenal, actually. This is really cool. I personally have my own phone number where people can text me. I did not use DistroKid because this was not an option when I got my phone number, uh, but this is phenomenal. I would highly recommend you look into this, actually. Honestly, whether it be DistroKid or not, like get a phone number that you could you could, you could could message your, your, your followers. Uh, loudness normalization, yes, no. Shazam, I do this on everything. Shazam and Siri, it's really cool if you could be like, hey, Siri, play this song. Highly recommend it, it's worth it. Um, title master if you want to do that you can go through the whole process when I do this I usually only click the Shazam one I that's personally how I do it it's super easy just if you obviously if you if your first time read through these I've released 100 songs I know what I'm doing so you hit done and then it goes right through that and there you go you have officially released your song and it is set to be released congratulations when you release a song you have it right here scroll down a little and you can add the lyrics. This is really cool. You can add the lyrics right here. Plain lyrics is what goes into like the uh, app music, Spotify, all that stuff. And then if you go back, I haven't written out, like I have to go write, copy and paste the lyrics. Once you have the plain lyrics, then you'll able to do the synced lyrics with, with stuff like uh, Instagram and stuff. That's really, really cool. Um, if you have collaborators, you can do things like splits where you could split the revenue uh, together and you know, depending on who wrote how much and all the things like that. You deserve the congratulations. You have officially learned how to release your song. I am so excited for you. One little tip is just release your song. Just get it out there. One of the problems so many musicians face is that they are so afraid to, like, they want to perfect their music so much that they end, end up never releasing anything. So don't be that guy. Release the music. A couple more things that I want to talk about really quickly with DistroKid. I, like I said, I really like them because they're so for the artists. Like for example, they've done things with NFTs and artists. They've done things, like I said, they were the first company to get music on TikTok. 
IG stories with the scrolling lyrics, like this, some really cool stuff. You can get your lyrics in Spotify and Apple Music. You can send credits to stores, which is really cool. So like if, you, if you're the songwriter, it shows you who's the songwriter, who did this, who did that, all the different aspects of that. Another really cool feature is you can share your music with labels, trying to get stuff with labels. If you want to use that product, it's called Upstream. And in making this video, actually, I just learned about something very, very cool. I'll, I'll show you really quick. It's called Spotify Canvas. I've always wondered how artists did this and they give you, these are phenomenal. They send out weekly newsletters, uh, but this is actually how you can get your music on or on Spotify. You know how like there's a little GIF that plays? This is how they did it. I did not realize this, but this is cool. So you could do that with them. You can get the little GIF going through. Uh, that is a benefit of me making this video because I just now learned how to do that. <laughs> So I want to again thank you District Kid for partnering with in this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. It's something I really wish I had when I first started off. It would have saved me so much stress. <laughs> But don't be afraid also to, to reach out to the support team too. I think I thought that when I was releasing my music that and I messed something up on Spotify that it'd be the end of the world. And like Spotify is a massive company, they're never gonna get back to me. Yeah, but DistroKid wills and they, they'll help you work out the issue. So don't stress, releasing music, congratulations. Hey, and check out my music. God bless and peace out.